Hi everybody, welcome back to the Native Family. I know I have not been on for a while, so if you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, hey family, I hope you guys are all home safe and doing okay with your family and that the kids are doing good. Um, as you guys know, we are in a pandemic and I have not gone monthly grocery shopping since February. Um, we left for our vacation um, pre-pandemic and the last day of our vacation is pretty much when the pandemic had hit pretty hard. So needless to say, I didn't have anything in the fridge, but I was very stocked in the freezer and in my cabinet. So we were able to make do with what we had. Definitely was night and day from the very first time that I walked into the grocery store when we got back from our vacation, which was empty to now. The workers are working really hard to keep things stocked and I am grateful for them. I am grateful for what I was able to find and I am going to be able to make this stretch for hopefully over a month. Um, I did not go to all the different stores that I usually go to because I usually go to Sam's, Aldi's, Grocery Outlet, 99 cent store, Dollar Tree. I have a compromised immune system and I have a son that has severe asthma so I can't risk being out there um, hunting for groceries. So I kind of went to just Aldi and I was blessed that I got most of my monthly stock up at Aldi. And I did head into the grocery outlet which is just right pretty much next door to it and got the rest of the necessities that we needed to have in order to make it a full month and maybe over with our groceries. Um, I spent a little over $200 maybe, around $200 at Aldi. I don't even remember to be honest with you. I was just stoked that I got groceries. Now when you guys are doing grocery shopping, remember to be safe, wear your mask. Um, there is a debate on gloves. If you don't wear gloves, keep your hands sanitized. If you do wear gloves, be careful of cross-contamination. Um, with Aldi, I like the fact that they, they don't bag your groceries. It goes straight into the grocery cart. So I did take the groceries out to the cart, did not use the store bags. And when I was bagging my groceries in the parking lot in my car, I was wiping them down with the Clorox wipes and I carry these in the car as well. So I did wipe down everything here that you see. So some of the packaging might look a little tore up, but it's clean. So with that being said, I, I'm going to get started and show you guys what I did find and try to give you a little idea of, of a meal plan that I have. I did pick up some hot dog buns, um, and these were awesome. These were $2 off. Oops, sorry guys. I have a small kitchen. I lo Oh, no, upside down. These are the Fit and Active Flatbread. These were $2 off, so I paid $0.69 cents for these, and they make awesome chicken salad and tuna salad wraps. I did pick up two of the sweet Hawaiian rolls. One is for Easter dinner and the other one will be for sandwiches for the kids for lunches. I have been looking into different meatless options and I do have, like I told you, I have vegetarians and I have carnivores. So this is the Priyana Ricotta and spinach ravioli. Guys, these are good, 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 especially with a garlic sauce, um, garlic, homemade garlic sauce. I can't speak today, guys. I haven't done a haul in a while, so I'm sorry. I picked up two of those and I think they're like a $1.49 each. The girls have been seriously into baking. I can't find flour. That is one of the things that I have not been able to come across. So unfortunately, I'm not being able to teach them how to make everything from scratch. So I did pick up a couple box cakes for them to play with and some brownies. So I did pick up some chocolate frosting because they do have a cake mix to make. Cocktail peanuts. You guys know this is always a repurchase because we try to make our own trail mix here. I did get one red and one green enchilada sauce. One is for my um, green chili chicken and the other one is for taco soup. One thing of vegetable oil since the girls are baking more. Uh, small kitchen trying to, small kitchen problems, so I'm trying to get this through. Two packages of the semi-sweet chocolate chips. That would be for the baking and the trail mix. I did get a pack of butter and a spreadable butter. This is more for toast and stuff so the kids aren't using the packaged butter for that. I got a cottage cheese a whipped topping that is for well I'm the one who eats cottage cheese here so I do eat cottage cheese almost every morning I wish I could have got one more but I'm happy with the one that I found and this is for fluff for Easter uh, dessert I did pick up one of the regular non-fat yogurts that's in vanilla because um, Nana likes this kind and so does Wolf and then Rhiannon and the hubby prefer the Greek yogurt and this is the indulgent Greek honey vanilla guys if you haven't tried that this one is amazing I needed some more syrup for the kids because we've been making a lot of pancakes and waffles. Canned goods, I didn't get too crazy on the canned goods. I just got two of the pre-made chilies because the kids have been enjoying chili dogs for lunch. Two diced tomatoes, um, two of the tomato paste, uh, one of the generic, well I shouldn't say generic, I guess the Aldi brand, um, Spam because the kids actually like Spam with their breakfast. 
four cans of tuna, two cans of black beans, three cans of the chili and tomatoes, and four cans of the green chilies. This is for my dried beans. Um, they had this, and this was new. They have the um, Owaka cheese. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. If I'm not, correct me down in the comments below. But I got two bags of these to make quesadillas. So that was something new for us to try. I'm trying to keep more protein in the house for the meat eaters. This will be great for lunches or an impromptu dinner. So I did pick up the burgers. Um, some meatballs because the kids have been enjoying meatball sandwiches and I'm going to use the little Hawaiian rolls to make little meatball sliders with it. We are going to be making some homemade pizzas so I just picked up a pack of pepperoni. Uh, a cheddar cheese, a sharp cheddar cheese, and a mozzarella cheese just to have for snacking and for um, pasta nights. A pack of the variety pack of the Millville oatmeal. Everybody's been enjoying oatmeal in the morning. Then two boxes of the au gratin potatoes to have with a side um, with the pork that I'm going to be doing. I was so lucky, guys, I found toilet paper. Was I impressed with the price? No, but was I going to complain? No. It was $9.99 for 12 of the Mega Rolls. I've never used the Willow brand before, but I feel lucky that I finally found it because the 45 pack that I bought at Sam's Club, actually, I have two rolls of that left, so it lasted us from February until now. So I'm, I think this will last us. I'll, we'll be pretty good on that. And I am having a hard time finding feminine products for the girls. So that is something that I might have to order online. I was able to find a four pound bag of the dried pinto beans and a five pound bag of the long grain white rice. I am going to be doing two different bean videos for you guys to show you what to do with some dried beans in case you don't have any options. So that is that. Two of the fudge brownie mixes for the kids to make. Um, like I said, the kids have been enjoying like chili dogs and hot dogs and you can also cut this up with mac and cheese. Um, you can put them with your beans. So it's just another uh, protein alternative because meat options, as we all know, are very slim right now. So I picked up a box of those. These are the most awesome crackers. I love wheat thins. Everybody in the house loves wheat thins. And these are only 95 cents a box and they taste good. So I did pick up two boxes of those to have as a snack. Um, I did get the Marshmallow and Star cereal and the Chocolate Puffs. My kids don't eat cereal all the time, so I did let them have that. So I did get a package of the Pink Salmon. We enjoyed this the last time. A bag of the Medium Raw Shrimp because I do want to do a shrimp boil that are foil packets. Really easy. Easter is coming, so I was able to get this ham. This ham is huge. So it was originally $24.00. And after, I, I don't know if it was 49 cents a pound or 90, or was it 89 cents a pound? Anyways, it came out to like $10.84. This is going to be awesome because this is going to save our butt throughout the month because not only can we have it for Easter dinner, we can chop it up and put with macaroni and cheese. We can make, you know, soup with it. I'm going to do a split pea soup with it. So this is going to make many different dinners for us, sandwiches, things like that. So super stoked. I am very grateful that they had um, limits on things. I believe we were able to get six packs of meat. So I did get my six packs, but I thought to myself, I had to make sure I was getting the packs that was going to stretch the most and the longest for my family. So instead of buying a pack of pork chops, I did get the half pork loin for $9. This I can make quite a few. I could probably make 12 pork chops out of it or do six pork chops and do half to make a roast with. So I was excited about that because I know I can make that stretch. They have the chicken leg meat, and this one's marinated. If you guys haven't tried this, this is so good. It's the citrus leg, ma leg meat. So I picked that up, and I did get a pack of thighs, and I got three packs of the leg meat. So that was the amount of meat I was able to pick up, and I'm truly grateful for that. Like I said, I didn't think I was going to find half of this stuff, guys, and I did. Um, for a quick lunch for the kids, I just picked up the... Casa Mamita Beef and Bean Burritos. It's the 8-pack. The kids seem to enjoy those ones. I always repurchase the maple-flavored uh, pork patties. The kids enjoy those for breakfast. Now, I do have a lot more veggies than this um, in the freezer. I just, like I told you guys before, I have a super small kitchen. So I only got out a couple bags of everything. So I did in total buy two bags of the California Medley. I did get three bags of the Berry Me Melody Mix so that I can do smoothies for the kids. I did get four of the green beans and four of the broccoli, um, a bag of the chicken nuggets because the kids enjoy those. 
I was able to get a loaf of bimbo bread. That is my kids' favorite bread. You guys know that from other hauls. They had eggs, and they were only 82 cents a dozen. There was a limit of two. This is awesome right here. We have not had eggs for a while, so definitely need that for some products. Asparagus is my kids' favorite veggie over anything. And these were only 99 cents a package, so I got two to have with Easter dinner and two to have with a different like side, maybe the pork or something. Another awesome deal was the Caesar salad kits. They came out to 69 cents a salad because they had dollar off coupons, so I bought two of those. A bag of apples, just those small gala apples, a whole pineapple, which will go with the ham, and then the rest will go for snacking for the kids. Um, a couple of the taco seasoning packs, and a couple of the gravy packs. And then I did pick up three of the chicken broths and two of the beef broth because soup goes a long way. That's a meal you can definitely stretch. So this was my Aldi haul, guys, for the month of April. I'm pretty sure I can get this to stretch with what I picked up at the grocery outlet, which is very little. I will do a haul to show you guys what we found there. Um, I, like I said, my thoughts are with you guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope your family is okay, um, that you're all right. And I miss you guys. I'm going to try to get back on more often. So if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload videos. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you next video. Bye, guys.